Uh, well, welcome back to my Sunday streams of Witcher 3. Man, I've been enjoying this game. It's just been long travels between things. This patch, Magic wants to talk about cereal restaurants and cereal bars, so... It's always nice having it around, this time, Magic. <laughs> There's one downtown here. <laughs> Try cereal restaurant. You know what? Sure, I'll look up cereal restaurant. Let's see if I find anything. <laughs> uh... Well, you know what? Let's continue our adventure of killing everything, really. And saving people, and being nice. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Well, guess as a recap. And you are correct, this pan magic. There is a cereal bar in New York City. It's called Kellogg's. Ha. Huh. Kellogg's, New York City. Of course, it's called Kellogg's. Look up the Roach Crest. Do it, Gerald's High. I don't think the Roach Crest is anywhere close, though. I'll look it up. Oh, it's in Blood and Wine. Okay, it's a DLC quest. Judging, yeah. DLC quest. I'll get to it, because I have all DLCs, but still. At least I know it's a DLC quest. It's nighttime. I've actually been around. Holy shit, my shit's about to break. Goose, 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 goose. Come on. Look at these goose. They don't care. Alright, let me go repair my fucking shit before it falls apart on my ass. Hey you! Dwarf! A return customer. Welcome! I feel like I'm the only customer. I'd like you to forge something for me. Repair. Alright. Ouch, that sucks. Forty-two. Wait, is that better than this? No, it's just negative nineteen because of the repairing. That costs a lot. That's my steel sword. Oh, my steel sword is weaker. Okay, I could use this one. Sure. I fucking repair it. That was my silver sword that was broken. Uh, makes sense. Farewell. So long. Can you kill the goose? Will you be attacked by four killers? I might be. I am not gonna test that. This man magic. I'm not gonna start murdering people. Because you can swing your sword wherever you are. So I feel like you know, I might murder everybody. Is this anything new here? There's the old peasant would be living nearby and vice to come. I don't think there's anything near here. Yeah, it ain't. I don't know why I climbed that. I bet. Alright, inventory. Time to equip my new weapon. Shit. There we go. Yeah, I probably should just sell the rest. Gildorf sword. Oh, I had a weapon repair kit. Damn it. Useless. Actually, slightly better than what I have. Mostly the rest is useless. And armor repair kits. Hmm. Don't remember, I got these damn things. Gonna be like Skyrim with people really pissed and <laughs> precious animals. You bet. Uh, I don't know. But I feel like I might get attacked, so I don't want to try it. 
Greetings. Hello. Let me have a look at your stock. Do you have money? Damn, you're still poor. Fuck. You have 13 books to your name. Now here's 8. That's 11. That's 11. That's 9. It's, uh, I can't really sell anything. Oh, that's three. There we go. And that's two. Really? That's two? That's exactly two. Why is weapon so fucking cheap? What's over here? What, what's this? Turn up page Griffin concoction. Nah. Oh, it's a turn up page. I think I already have that one anyway. So long. Take care. You never, I never gotten games how people can just change in front of people. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. Just my magic. You, you do bring up a good point. When you change armors, you're literally just taking off your pants and putting new ones on in front of everybody. Same time, time stops when you do stuff like that, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. They're just like, okay, I don't, I don't see you. Hey, I, probably, I don't change my underwears. Come on, it's just pants. Come on, Roach. All right. Let me go check on what quests I have. Mm -hmm. Collect them on. Completed. Okay. Go, go. Come on. Let's go. I, what, what am I doing? I can teleport. At least I can't run over the animals. I'd be fucked if I could. Whoa there, Roach. And we teleport. Yeah, I gotta examine this. So I'm gonna mark that. There's just like <laughs> oh, this is magic. But still. For games that don't stop time when you change clothes, yeah. I don't understand how they don't. Nobody complains about you taking off clothes. Say time. How can you change clothes in an instant? Like time stops and magically out of nowhere this guy has changed his clothes. In most games underwear you'll be able to see balls. I don't know this man magic. And yeah, most games don't have balls. Or anything. What the here? hell is this? Right. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? <laughs> no more Captain Mask. <laughs> uh, like cloth underwear back then, just a long cloth. True, true. Back then, yes, just a long cloth. I give you that much. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tja, <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Kill the girl. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Okay, I'll take the coin. It's not like it matters to you. Where 
Bird up, lashing him. God damn. That's dirty money. <laughs> Make him poor, give him lashes. Yeah, I'll definitely take his money though. I am my better. God damn, I can't even see what's happening. I haven't been counting, but it's only supposed to be 15 lashes. God damn. <laughs> all options to take money in this game, it's a bad option. Uh, not all the time. You do work, you get paid. You can't just be a get doing things for free. Sometimes, yeah. Maybe, you know, they're poor. They could use the money more than you can. That I understand. But most of the time, it's just a douchebag. That's really like, eh. Here's your payment. Yeah, I did your damn job. Ooh, nice. There go. I need my crossbow. Up underwater. Oh shit. Nope. Oh shit. They're stronger than me. Swim! Swim, girl! Swim! No! Swim away! Swim away! God damn it. Fucking. Piece of shit. They're level fucking 10. Yeah, shit, shit, I'm awake! Alright. I can't deal with that. Ah, fuck you. That's great. <laughs> the farm got a quest. Farmer? Oh, I didn't even notice. Let me, let me meditate first. I need to recover my, uh, my drugs. There we go. Got my swallow back. Well, I can't fuck with these guys, I guess. Kinda of sucks. Whatever, right? Get on, Roach! Come on. Why am I so weak still? I expected myself to be a little bit stronger than that. I want to check over here. Seems to be a lot. I'm missing a map. I know I'm missing a map. He said there's a farmer has a quest. It will show it up if I see it. Let's we'll see. Doesn't seem to be any farmer around here that has a quest. Of course, there's a military camp. I don't know which form you're talking about, this pen magic. So I'm just gonna ride. I got that. Got that. Ah, here we go. Nice little path. The one that just got the lashes? Huh. Get I don't know where to find him. I doubt he's still in there. But maybe he does have a quest. Okay. Here we go. Take it easy. Okay. Now what's their level is the main thing. Take me. Oh, level two. Okay. I got this then. Yeah, bitch. 
God damn it. Nope. Burn, bitch! Come here. Come here. Ah, fuck. Alright, you're next. Ah, what the fuck, man? Take out your damn sword! I don't know why Gareth put away his sword right there. I did not do it. I did. Alright. Where the power? Yeah! Why am I killing monsters? Because they're evil. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. Ghouls are pretty evil. Sorry as I stand magic. They're not nice. Keep myself a nice dumpling. Alright. Let's go grab whatever we can, shall we? Ooh, got some Al Ghoul bone marrow? Oh shit, there's another one. Hey buddy! Bitch! <laughs> How do you know where he's- <laughs> Oh, this bad magic. Well, g these ghouls don't actually have any minds to them in anything. Yes, I give it to you that some monsters could talk and actually have should have rights to them. Just because they're monsters doesn't mean anything. But these are just mindful creatures that will murder anything around. Mindless creatures. I mean, is it because they're ugly? No, it's not because they're ugly. Because I'm going to see some monsters out there that are pretty ugly. And no, they're not going to, that's not the reason I'm going to murder them. God damn it. Sucks I can't get that. a lot here. <sighs> what, I didn't destroy that? Monster nest. I did. Fuck. Alright. Go to the mill. I can teleport back. Come on. Remember Fallout 4? <laughs> yes, I remember Fallout 4. They're not that type of ghouls. <laughs> that magic. Mm, magic. A place of power. Hmm, what's up here? I never checked up here. Whoa there, Roach. There's a nice grave. They're not the same ghouls. Also, there's a quest that tests that is a Wendigo quest, really? Faster. There's a Wendigo quest. <laughs> Random horse? Um, whose horse is this? Yeah, whatever. Hmm, I want to explore all this, but I want a map also. Well, let's go. Maybe I'll find his Wendigo quest eventually. So I say there's a lot of monsters, so... Wendigo's probably one of them. I don't have the beast to read for it, though. Hello. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. 
If you like powerful magic, let the wind go eat the farmer. He Not is a dick. <laughs> really? Took him down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Marian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Oh. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true? No. <laughs> what the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, of course they start shit. Are you? He did some stuff. <laughs> back down now. Pop up. I can see. Did some saw shit that turned him to one. What the hell are you talking about? This match. So oh. oh crap! Ow! Well, everybody burn. Okay, I'm dying. Actually, I'm not done fire indoors. Well, now that doesn't make us it's look like right. a good guy. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. They started it. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. You're trying to spoil quest now, this man magic, huh? Huh? That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. And a Jennifer. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't huh. get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Yeah, watch the wash. The last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. Far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well... Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind uh -huh. one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Uh. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, 
Sovereign of Nazaire and Vico Varo will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaermor, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your help horse? My, me much, Swift? really? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Ah, oh, goddammit. Sorry about that. The house is on fire. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm back, sorry about that. But then. But then. Uh... Oh, shit. God damn it. Guardian soldiers suck. I wish I could do that. Oh, the horses can't jump that bridge? Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, alright? After the audience. Fucking hell. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She deluded him for years. Okay, but now not to tell me this. A few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. She's not nearby. She's literally right next to me. Ah, whatever. Well, how can you outrun undead horse? Horses? Well, I guess he just can. Oh. This took a turn. <laughs> um. Okay. Do we see his dick? I don't know. Oh, might have to age gate some of these eventually. Hmm. It must suffice. Fuck you. <laughs> Think of your cares if I'm clean. <laughs> Nipple clean. <laughs> yes, it is. Full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Uh-huh. Tatwin, <laughs> really he shaved the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Hey. I didn't say you could just shave me. Yeah, something wrong with my beard? What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does, yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes, especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Yeah. Tilt your head back, please, and sit okay, still. Okay, that's kind of raw. <laughs> he likes what he sees. Ha <laughs> ha. That's kind of weird to have beard with lice. Uh. To answer some questions. 
General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Oh, shit. Okay, this, I think these questions involved what story that happened in part one and two. I have no clue, never played them. So I'm just gonna see, I don't know. Spare this life, you escaped. I spare his life, I guess. Add some more story, maybe. I'll see him in this time. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? <laughs> Just everyone likes seeing your tick. I don't think everybody could see under my towel. Okay, let's see. To Vergen. Got out of there with Vern Roach. Rocher or John, he helped me out. Ah, shit. Uh, I don't know any of these names. Or Viff. I guess. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes. And A murderer of non humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. <laughs> we shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Mui. You hung. You don't think the towel helps when you're sitting? And once uh. again meddled in the affairs of I don't know. How hung is Garrett? Yeah. Alright. I was just a little bit of that. Okay. Had to save Triss. Had Roach and rescue Anius. I guess I had to save Triss. The mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. Hmm. I'm gonna say she escaped, because I don't know what's happening. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her. <laughs> Hung the enough that everyone's actually looking. Gullet, it said. <laughs> Write that down. Be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. See, I kill Lito. Damn, that alliance is dead. I kill Lito. Or what happened to Lito? See, I don't know. Don't know these. Oh, I wish I played one and two, but they're PC only. I never was into PC because I'm poor. <laughs> Not the richest man alive. That an ongoing alliance. What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. 
Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here, um, here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long. Yeah, I think they all do want to see him hung. Good luck with your audience. <laughs> and yes, he does have nipples. They didn't get cut off, this pen magic. You saw them earlier. What the hell? How you missed them? Hmm. God Feels damn it. more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. <laughs> Where are my clothes? Where well, they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. <laughs> damn. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. <sighs> All right. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Definitely not the middle one. Ugh. This one ain't terrible. I don't see much difference though. White belt. Design only in the middle. The whole thing's of design here. Let's check the back. Hmm. Guess I'll go with this one. Alright. <laughs> that guy's got Skyrim voice? Uh, maybe. This uh. might come as news to the gentleman. But a towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting. Yeah, all right, I gotta equip it. Fuck you. Yeah. Huh. Man, look, bath towel. Supplies to armor somehow. <laughs> oh, that's kind of weird. For an audience. All right, there. Gentlemen, Happy. Dress? Take them all. Eh, yeah, I might have. But I don't really wanna go nude. I tried going nude, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Let me try something else. Rather try on something else. Go ahead, we've time. Okay, I'm gonna see if I could just take them all. Alright, I took them all. <laughs> Two right, for both or here. Wait, what? Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, you can't go nude, this my magic. I wish you could try though. A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> a gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh, I'm not a boar. I know how to bow. Wow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of wow. the Guard. Please watch. Too armor for both balls. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. Hell no. Gentlemen will rehearse. Nope. Gotta be kidding. Not at all. I am mortally serious. Does the gentleman know the penalty for breaches of etiquette in the Emperor's presence? 200 lashes. I do not wish that upon him. So I will not let him leave until I am confident that he knows how to behave. Ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I want to punch him. <laughs> yes. I agree with you, this pet magic. I want to. Okay, what was it again? Uh, 
It was right hand on chest. Yeah, it was right hand on chest, so I'm guessing it's left leg. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Fuck you. Ah, I can't punch. The gentleman will Damn address it. the emperor I actually wanted to. when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty, spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Oh, fuck you. Uh, nah. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomen, vat gun favor. I'll set the bitch relief. So many months of Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. A wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. You know, I could probably still snap your neck. You know Easily. Desire, in fact, Yennefer will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Such an yes. unhappy face on that picture. You are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons Flame him. <laughs> oh yeah, I could do that too. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. <laughs> Need <laughs> information, not motivation. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My corps of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Now look, he just bowed like that. Huh? Is, she, is he a whore? See? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, Haiti on my bow. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax. Ah, fuck Nothing you. happened to the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. And it's you deserve the punishment, then. What? If you get lashes or executed, I don't care, actually. Got that. Everybody's speaking over Grad. Two swords, a witcher. The emperor. Wait. That's who knows how he's made. Ah, oh, fuck you guys. Call me barbarian. 
you see, want your you dick and help you but uh ha ha. Yeah, yes, he just wants my dear. My big fat dear. <laughs> Give me a second. I want to see where's this quest at. No, we're here. All right. I'm going to be a dick and pick all your flowers. Oh, I can't. Ah, whatever, then. I can't pick the flowers. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay. Talk to Yennefer. That quill sharpened yet. Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Huh? And the you still want me to flame him? Can I? At times it is Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do this, my man. It doesn't allow me to flame. Ruthlessness and cynicism that... Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean draft. In triplicate. A shame I have no time. Uh huh. Ambassador Van Attire. Can I steal anything? I don't think I can do anything, really, until... I got my gear. Can't flame. Can't fucking Geralt, use my sword. Tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. <laughs> now, do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back. No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. <laughs> You're hearing Skyrim voices like Kaggets and Elves? Well, so they're our agent now? Ten now. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the wild hunt does. Hmm. So did Gareth and her bang? Yes, Geralt has banged her and Yennefer. And, uh... That, ah, God damn it. That's Yennefer. The other one is... Kira? I forgot. I'll remember when we bang. <laughs> the wild hunt. What could it want from Siri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. No, they didn't make a baby. Geralt is... Uh, sterile. Siri is actually... You know that king I just talked to? His daughter. I, if I remember correctly. So that's why he's hiring me to find her. Even though I'm the one that raised her and took care of her. So yeah. Garrett can never make kids. But he could adopt. <laughs> so where has Siri been seen exactly? In two places. 
Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. <laughs> All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Then why do I hear? Tris Merigold. I don't know. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? Oh, Tris. I shall sail That's for Skellige. True. There was a magic explosion there recently. It blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Damn. <laughs> uh, she hasn't gone through mutations yet? No, of course not. She has some... Elder? I don't know. Some special ancient blood in her. That's what makes her powerful. And probably why she has white hair. I actually don't know why the whole white hair. And we'll learn more about Siri, okay? Hopefully. Just keep coming back and watching the streams. <laughs> Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I should be waiting. She got this teleport. Yep. I'm coming to What? Portals. <laughs> what? She knew. <laughs> I am very confused though. Alright. So what has happened, Ambassador? Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will. Let us approach the map. Alright. Let's learn some world lore, shall we? Goddamn. How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin. His ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king, 
Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. Ha! What about Kavir? That's, that's a known admiration I hear. Hmm. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then... Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. <laughs> What's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey. Now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Huh. Okay, thank you for that information. That's new an overgrad, sure. Overgrad. Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Oh, great. Burning everything that's moss that's not pure human. What's new in Skellige? Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome. But nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Sound <laughs> awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Alright. Well, that's all the lore of the area. Nice to know how this war is going and everything. Thanks for your help. That's only a small part, though. How's the world? May the great sun light your path. Huh. Actually helpful. Not like some people. I'm talking about you. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh 
somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll give him his daughter back. Take her. I'll never give Siri back. Hungman's tree. Hangman tree. Oil palace Vizima. Goddamn, new quest and the Guardian connection. Alright. We got a lot there. Travel to villain. Eh, I don't know where this Gwent thing is at. But let's get my gear on, shall we? There we go. Armor! I like these assholes with this damn fancy clothes. I guess I kept all the clothes too. I need to sell all that. It's high class clothes, so maybe I can make some money. You know. Decent money. Cash from it. God damn, I had to literally equip everything, don't I? No, oh, at least my fucking swallow and shit stuff is still equipped. What about my bomb? Uh, where is my bombs? There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, look at here. A quest? Barbarians. Fuck you. 